Y'all, it's your boy Flex and Rue, and um, today's video, you know, we just meet somebody. What's your name, bro? Michael. Michael. I met somebody at the car wash. I'm right here at the car wash, right here in Sacramento, California, and um, I approached Michael, you know, because I see him sweeping, and I could see his situation of being homeless, you know, with his dogs, you know, but he's helping out, uh, to, you know, just make some extra money, you know, everything helps out, right? That's right, man. As far as, you know, you're, you're sweeping for the car wash and, you know, making some type of income, but... Uh, the moral of the story is, is that, you know, I approached him just to, you know, see what his story was. And, uh, you know, he was telling me what, what it was. And, you know, just when you see people that are homeless or stuff like that, driving by, walking by, and people automatically think, oh, that's their fault. Majority of the time, you know, but not knowing the story behind it, you know. So there's always a story behind it. So that's my thing is just trying to get back to the homeless community and trying to help out in any way possible, shape, or form. So yeah, that's why we just here with Michael and I was speaking to him, this is my first time meeting him. And like I said, I'm at the car wash and I just met him. I approached him and um, just wanted to see what his story was, so. I, came, I became homeless, man, due to the fact that, that um, uh, my disability, uh, um, the social security disability, my child support uh, started taking half my disability. I couldn't afford to pay for my apartment anymore. So um, I decided to go ahead and, and uh, go homeless, uh, which I didn't really have a choice to do, but that's what I did. Um, I, uh, I, uh, been like this for the last six years. It's been kind of rough and tough, man, but, um, you know, my, my, uh, my dogs and I just, uh, survived 23 dogs in the last six years, and, um, I, uh, I've been living out in the streets, in the woods, you know, wherever I could, and, um, I don't work that much, but when I can get some work, I try to get it, but, uh, recently they took my disability, um, all the way, so, I don't know why, and uh, yeah, it's been just a rough time, you know. But um, we just the way we, we try to survive, I guess, you know. But whatever whatever work I can get, from time to time, it's what I what I'll do. So you got to keep going for sure, yeah. and you know, no one could understand that unless they've been in that same position. Because I ain't been in, I ain't been in that position, but you know, uh, I still feel for you, man. Because we human, yeah. You know, and uh, to me, what I believe in, you're my brother spiritually, and um, that's why I approached you is because, I, like I said, I want to help any way, shape, or form, I can help you out. Yeah. You know, whatever yeah. that's feeding you, buying new clothes, um, you know, trying to introduce you to more people so you can get some work in. Yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's always a great help, man. I mean, but it, you know, the community, I, what I realized over the last several years is that, is that I, I, you know, my, my uh, you know, normal people that I would normally go to, um, it just kind of like disappeared, you know what I mean? And I, I wasn't, I'm not with the same old routine, you know what I mean? Going back downtown, going going through uh, loaves and fishes, going through all the little, community routines and you know get this aid get that aid I wasn't into all that you know I mean I, I worked mostly all my life you know and and being the factor that I did I just refused I, I just kind of just clammed up you know what I mean I didn't I didn't really want to take a choice or a chance on, on going through any more of what I've been through I, right. just, I, I was looking for something different and I still am you know what I mean so I continued um, you know just the process of just trying to live through this mess right. you know what I mean and, yeah. and now I've been meeting a few people which, yeah. is, which is which is cool, man. I haven't been able to do that. I mean, I bet several stars would blow your mind. You know, blow your mind. I mean, I've met. <laughs> yeah. But um, I've kept my, my my mouth shut about all that. But uh, but as quiet as it's kept, I I, I uh, I'm grateful. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. He's grateful for even in the situation, whatever he's going through. That's the thing he say. He's grateful, man. So um, just I'm gonna buy him uh, a pizza from right here down the street because that's what's available right now. And like I said, I'm helping him out. Any, you know, feeding him, feeding his dogs. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, you know. I don't by the way, I went on your show. Uh, um, I'm a custom welder. You know, I do art. You know, welding art. If you're interested, I'm out here on Norwood from time to time. Um, I weld uh, all kinds of crazy faces and stories all into metal. So, and uh, it takes a bit of time. That's dope. That's that's talent, man. It is, man. It's, you know, it's, that's it's a lot dope. Of fun. Yeah. That's what I like to do. And I build many, many choppers and stuff like that. That's dope, man. Y'all hear that, man. He, he does, uh, he does uh, basically specialize in, in yeah, welding. Yeah, it's uh, rocking horses. I, I, it's, a, it's a motorbike that, that um, it hasn't been around since the 70s. Okay. Um, but the rocking horse is definitely a, a Hollywood uh, theme. Uh, um, uh, uh, it was kind of like a big wheel. You remember the yeah the big yeah yeah you remember yeah. the dog it was kind of like a horse you seen the horse and he had the 
flag on the back of his head, and then he had the big wheels on the side. Right. Yeah, that's that. That's basically what what, what I what I represent is that that rocket horse. It's okay. innovation for tomorrow. For sure, hell yeah, bro. Y'all hear that, man? Y'all pay attention to that. If y'all need some welding, something special done. He's around here in Sacramento, California. You always live around Northgate, right? Yeah, right around Northgate. Northgate, right. you know. Um, Between Northgate and Norwood, you, you find me around, but um, I've always been around with my welder and, and, and stuff. So. Yep, so, you know, he got some talent right there, and um, that's his talent. So, yeah, man, I'm going to let you get back to it. I'm going to go get you this pizza, bro. All right, and, man. Um, is there any type of pizza you like? Everything on it, man. Everything on yeah, it? Okay, yeah, cool. Sure. All, All right, brother, right. I'll be right back. Okay, man. All right, sure. Thank you, man. All right, y'all, we right here at the car wash. Like I said, I just met the dude, and um, I don't know him, but I see his hungriness. I seen, you know, he was working, and I'm good, thank you. I see he was working, and, um, you, know, I, you know, I'm not here to judge people. You know, I'm just here to help him out, and I want to help him out. So we just right here. Rico's pizza and we finna just give him uh give him something to eat man you know that's the least I could do like I said I, I'm offering to buy him clothes you know help him out any way shape or form so I see uh you know he got two dogs finna give him a pizza for him and his dogs you know just get back to your community any way that you can you know without no reward and like I said I'm in the position where you know, I got a business and I'm making a certain amount of income where I can be able to afford that. You know, so I'm not losing. You know, it's like, what's the point of making? So what's the point of making a certain amount of money if you're not willing to help out others and get back? Uh, this shit closed. All right, y'all. Well, that pizza place was closed, so I'm about to go across the street to the Pizza Hut uh, or Pizza Guys, I believe. No, it's Pizza Hut. So I'm gonna go across the street to Pizza Hut right here, and I'm gonna just place the order for him, and he can pick it up. You know, so just give him his name and, uh, yeah, have him pick it up. And Mike, I'm going to uh, order your pizza at Pizza Hut right here across the street, man. Then I'm going to put it is it, I'm gonna put it under your name. That way you can pick it up. Yeah, sure, man. Okay, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do because that other place was closed. So yeah. I'm going to just go across the street, get that. Then um, you pick it up. All right, bro. So All it was right, nice man. meeting you, man. Yeah, you take it was care, bro. You too, man. And um, like I said, if I see you around, next time I'm going to give you a sweater or something. You know, All everything right, helps out. So, okay, man. And uh, y'all remember his face. If y'all need some welding services, you know, he got some talent behind him. So, yep. yeah, Michael right here. I do here. Japanese and, uh, and I do, uh, you know, American art too, but, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of Hollywood storyline and, and, and characters and stuff like that in the metal. Dope, dope. Hell yeah. yeah it's, it's show, pretty brother. Cool, man. Yes, sir. All right. All right, man. You enjoy your day. Okay, you too, I'll see you around. Oh, that thing freshly washed, man. Black on black. You know, it ain't dusty no more like my knees and my elbows. <laughs> I'm messing with y'all. That thing looking real, real pretty. Hell yeah, I appreciate you, brother. So, yeah, I'm ready to go on this beautiful Sunday. Right here at House of Bling. Bling Bling Car Wash. House of Bling Bling right here, y'all. If y'all in Sacramento, come get y'all uh, car wash right here. I used to work here too, real shit. I used to work when I was younger. And now I opened up a barber shop and God's blessed me in a different realm. So, all right, y'all, we right here at Pizza Hut. I'm gonna grab old boy something to eat. Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah. Not bad, huh? Good morning. Yeah. Are you cash Yeah, I'm gonna go put... Yeah, I'm gonna go put this on. Sorry Can I get a Supreme? Large or medium? Let's do let's do medium. I see. You wanna make a large cup of special it'll be a fair deal. Uh what was it? Sorry, what was that? What was it? Large pizza up to five toppings or specialty for $13.99. Oh uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Right. Want that big crispy pan or hand toss on the press? Uh let's do hand toss. Uh, not that be it. And for the name, pick up, it's gonna be a uh, homeless dude named Michael. He's in a uh, green jersey, I think. But yeah, you'll see him. Michael. Uh, come in. Uh, so it's gonna be 16, 13 after 13. All right, y'all, I just let Pizza Hut order uh, Michael a pizza. He's about to pick it up, 15 minutes. I told him to pick it up. And, um, you know, more of the story is, you know, to always give back to your community any shape or form, you know, especially just out of kindness, out your heart. And that's something I believe in, you know. I'm in a position in my life where um, I can help out others. 
and just to give back to my community. And that's something I believe in, you know, to actually build a confidence, build whatever they believe in, you know, just to have faith into them and to believe in themselves. You know, it could be the simplest things that can help them out and that can make them have a change of thought to whatever they're going through, you know. But y'all heard the story and um, you should have judged people off how they look or what they're going through. You know, so every homeless person has a story behind him and you heard his story. So just be more open minded and not so close minded what people are going through, you know. So and that's just something I believe in. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I made that dude's day, man. It was cool meeting him next time I see him, you know, and I give him a sweater or something that I got on me. But, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we just leaving Pizza Hut. Yeah, y'all, it's your boy Flex and Rule. Y'all make sure to subscribe to this channel, leave some comments, and like this video, man. You know, stay updated with these videos. And um, it's all love. I appreciate y'all. Have a blessed Sunday.